So as we inspect these, what we are looking for is, I'm always gonna start with the handles. The handles are the most expensive part of a metal mesh wire mesh sling. Um, so what I wanna look for is make sure that they are straight. I wanna make sure that there's no corrugation happening in the handle. That would happen with the wire mesh sitting through and grinding on that. That will happen over time depending on the application. So I wanna make sure the handle's in great shape. I wanna start with our attachment. I wanna make sure our weld is still intact and not broken. And then as I'm looking right here, I wanna make sure all my welds along each side are still in great shape. Looking here. I'm also looking on both ends. And then I'm in the body, what I'm looking for are all the typical uh, failure criteria. We want to make sure that the wire mesh is not crushed. We want to make sure it's not gouged. We want to make sure that there's no heat damage that could come from weld splatter, uh, arc type uh, burns and whatnot. Uh, come to the back, the male, uh, male fitting. Make sure uh, this fitting is in great shape. Again, making sure nobody's modified it by welding on any handles or doing anything you know, unnecessary. And then I will start to flip it over. And as I'm doing it, I'll make sure that the wire mesh itself is moving freely and not bound up. Uh, being bound up could uh, indicate it's been crushed uh, and would be a failure criteria. So going through both ends again, checking all my welds, making sure everything looks good. So when we need to remove a metal mesh, wire mesh slings from service, uh, here is going to be a few things that we've spotted on this particular item. Number one, we do have some wear beginning in the handle. Not excessive, uh, but beginning to start. Again, I'm looking for the straightness of the female fitting. What I'm seeing is a serial number, but currently I'm not seeing any manufacturer's marking, so I'm going to want to keep my eyes open on the other handle. As I go down, I'm already noticing some wear and tear. We've got some binding happening. Getting a little hung up here, seeing a little corrosion, a little wear and tear coming down. A little bit of crushing, a little bit of wear happening here, and then we start to get to the real bad area. We've obviously seen a broken wire, which is immediate cause for removal, but we can actually also see a lot of corrosion, a lot of crushing here on these individual wires across the mesh, more breaks over here. So right there, I would stop the inspection and that would be an immediate cause for removal. Now with wire mesh slings, we do know our handles are the most expensive part of each assembly. So right now I'm noticing that this handle looks pretty good. I'm not seeing any damage here in the, in the holes for the attachment of the connecting welds. So I wanna to come to my other handle, make sure everything's looking pretty good here. No excessive wear, no excessive wear, no damage, everything looks good. What I would recommend is to pull this from service, send it into the manufacturer for repair, if they can save the handles, they'll replace all of the mesh, proof test it, recertify it, ship it back to you, good to go, get more life out of it.